Hey guys, welcome to a homeschooling day in the life of a working mom and homeschooling mom of three girls ages six, four, and one. I'm gonna take you guys along on our day. It's actually January 3rd today, so it is the first day back to homeschooling. We took a couple weeks off for Christmas. We've had a lot of crazy things happen. Power outage for 48 hours in Minnesota in December. Um, we all got strep throat over Christmas, like we're finally starting to feel better and we're ready for some normalcy, for some routines, and I'm just excited to get back into everything. So I'm going to take you guys along on our day. My husband is off today. He um, works for a food and beverage company, so his schedule is still kind of all over the place, but it's a lot better than it was when he was a chef, working fewer hours per week and actually getting paid for any hours over what he, over 40 hours, which is wonderful. So he's off today. My mom actually asked us a few weeks ago if we wanted to go on a sleigh ride. So that is today. Hopefully it won't get canceled. It's very, very cold. So I said if it's under zero, they won't do it, but it's supposed to be about 20. So hopefully it was supposed to be at 11 and they switched it to one, which is really not ideal with a one-year-old who naps during that time. But we're gonna have her take a longer morning nap, like move her morning nap later and do a, like a two hour morning nap. Hopefully she'll sleep that whole time and then probably just give her a short little like half hour, hour nap whenever we get home. So that's the plan. So my husband, because he's home, I can do my work time during that morning nap and then a little bit later because I do run a subscription box. I have this online business where I also do podcast episodes and videos and Instagram, but also running my subscription box. So I have a lot of stuff I need to get done every day. And then I was up at 4 a.m. this morning working, getting a podcast episode ready, the thumbnail, uploading it, all of those things. I worked out already, which I like to fit in between 5.30 and 6. And then I get ready from 6 to 6.30 and then the girls are up at 6.30 ready for the day gonna go get the girls up Santa's off today so thankfully he's gonna be helping with that too so that was our morning so far and San is getting breakfast ready I'm gonna fold some laundry since he's home and try to kind of catch up on laundry and stuff and then we'll move down to start homeschooling the girls are watching a little TV because um, they earned their once they get here on their sticker chart they get a prize and usually they pick like a piece of candy a little one dollar prize from the Dollar Tree or TV so they're watching TV right now and they get these in the morning if they stay in their bed till their clock turns green at 630 and then just also throughout the day for like being really kind or helpful and things like that Sam's getting breakfast ready <laughs> Sam's getting breakfast ready. Uh, Mondays are just bagel days, it's really easy. Normally we do like homemade pancakes or waffles or muffins that we pre-make on the weekends, but Mondays are usually just our easy day. It's gonna make up some eggs and I'm gonna fold some laundry. I've been making smoothies for myself in the morning. I should make them for the girls more, but they're not huge fans. So I just put all, unsweetened almond milk, some frozen fruit, some flax seed. I have chia seeds just in some almond milk here, banana, and some greens. Voila. And breakfast for the girls. We got the girls a Yodo for Christmas. We gave it to them like mid-December and we have been loving it. We love to listen to the Yodo Daily Podcast where you just hit this once and it's a podcast. There's riddles, there's jokes, there's geography, there's facts, there's games. We love listening to it during breakfast. True or false, whales and dolphins never fully fall asleep. True. true. Whales and dolphins I think it's true. never I think. fully fall asleep. They never go into a complete sleep mode. Is that no, true? it's true. Or is that false? Oh. What do you think? I got all of our homeschool stuff out last night, so we're gonna start. It's eight o'clock right now. So Brian's gonna do this fashion, like kind of like tracing thing. It's got these little like plates that you can put, and then you do like a rubbing over it, and it makes the outfit. Oh. Okay, Sills. So there's something wrong with the calendar. Can you figure out what it is? Yep, I forgot to change the year. It's been to two. Good job. 
our verse this week. I'm going to read it and then we'll repeat it. Matthew 7, 12. So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. We're going to listen to our song that fits with the verse from the Hide Them in Your Heart CD. Jesus said the golden rule sums up the law and the prophets. Now how... So Celia went and got a pointer and she's going to use it and we're going to read all these words. So these all start with cl, C-L, cl. These all start with fl, and these all start with sl. Uh, they all have one thing in common. What's that? Oh. Well, they all have, all the columns have the same beginning. Cl, 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 cl. Fl, 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 And what's this one? Sl, 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 sl. So you're going to point to them and you're going to read them. Go for it. Oh. Cl, uh, Clap. Good. Clap. Do you remember what this says? Remember how we did that? Clap. Say it again. Clap. Clap. No, what sound does CK make? Click. Click. Good. And this is just a different vowel. Wait, clap. Click. Clock. 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 Okay, so we are, we have these color sheets for a Heart of Dakota curriculum I got on a Facebook group. So they're coloring those. Sometimes they do different activities that they pull out. Um, sometimes they color. Um, so we're going to do our um, reading about history and our story time. And then we'll move to math. Okay. Then. So sometimes our history is out of this Bible. Sometimes it's out of an actual history book. Just depending on what we're learning right now. We're learning about Jesus' life. Moses and Elijah appear with Jesus. Now we're going to read our read aloud, which is The Adventures of Danny Meadow Mouse. Last up for this morning, we're going to do our Good and the Beautiful Math. And then Celia is going to do her fine motor. And then also her, um, it's just kind of like logic. And then she's also got handwriting she does during um, nap time. So we'll probably do that this afternoon. I just leave the books for her. So here's the handwriting. She just does one page. So she'll do, write the letter E, Earth, Belongs, and His. Me? No, Celia. And then she'll do this, like, figure out which bird comes next. Four-year-old, we do do some homeschooling stuff. She also goes to preschool two days a week. She hey. is a first-year preschooler. Her birthday is in September, so she still has a whole other year of school before kindergartening. Um, for kindergarten so sometimes we do work sometimes she just listens along with us now that i start talking about worksheets she wanted to do some so here's a tracing one we have from the good and the beautiful and then um we're just slowly making our way through the alphabet she knows her letters pretty well but it's always good practice so you just trace all the ladder lines and then i want you to trace these two too and then find all the letter b's here and we are all done it is a little after nine so i am now down in my office which looks a lot different than you guys have seen it i just the other day bought this desk it's actually it's from michael's i think it's a simply tidy line it's two desktops put together i use brackets to attach them and then you can kind of customize like what different units you want. My friend did this down in her basement and I just thought it was the best bang for my buck. And I, it's like the perfect size for in here. We still have a good walkway here. Fits perfectly in the middle of our office. It's like 60 inches wide, which is perfect because I can um, assemble boxes here. I don't have to take everything up to the, the dining room like I did last time, but I can also use it as a desk. But I also, as you guys will have already seen, can use it as a backdrop for videos. And when I'm filming my podcast, I'll have a really nice background. Um, so it's like triple duty. But as you can see over here, it's kind of crazy right now. I'm selling and donating a lot. I've already sold a lot of different things. And I ordered for right here a, basically like a shelving unit you would put in your garage. Like those big heavy duty ones where like it locks in. To the little holes um, and it's metal and it's I got one that has white metal and then like neutral wood tone like this kind of wood um, for the actual shelves so it will 
look nice, but also be super durable so I can put products on there. So that is going to be right here. So I have a very functional office now. It's not like perfectly organized or anything. I don't even have like anything in these drawers here. But on this side, I have shelves over here. So I'm going to keep like packing supplies here for if I get orders beyond just my boxes, I can grab stuff from here. And then I've got drawers over here. I sold my old desk. It's gone. And then I think I'm going to get a rug because the only outlet on this wall are here and then way over there. Like there's no outlets down below, which don't even get me started. It drives me crazy. So I had to plug it in like over here on a power strip and then have it go through here. So I think I'm going to get like a rug, just a cheap like $30 rug. I got a $30 gray rug for the playroom. I think I'm gonna get the same kind for down here. Also will help with sound. But that way I can like, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with my laptop cord. I might need a longer cord here so I can keep that like under there. And then I'm gonna put cut like a slit in the rug for it to come up and then probably mount a power strip here or something. I'm not really sure yet, I haven't decided, but that's my office right now. So I have, I typically do social media on Mondays, so I'm going to be creating my posts for the week, like on Instagram, and getting those all ready so that I can just post them throughout the week. It just saves me a lot of time. I'm trying to use my DSLR more. I used to do photography, but like it's just, sometimes it's a lot to get it out and the settings, I shoot a manual, but the photos turn out so much better. So I'm gonna try that today. Um, and kind of get that already. Sans watching the big girls. Gwenny's down for her nap. Hopefully she'll sleep for like an hour and a half, two hours, so she's not cranky on the sleigh ride. We'll see how it goes. It is now 11. I just spent two hours doing three um, posts, like Instagram posts, and one reel. It takes a long time, photos, editing, getting them on my phone, editing some more, getting all the copy for all the posts and everything. So I also had a friend call, so we talked for like 10 minutes. So I guess an hour and 50 minutes. So San is working on lunch. We're gonna head upstairs, we're gonna eat lunch. We're gonna get all our snow stuff ready and hopefully we're gonna go on this sleigh ride. Girls are having homemade lunch bowls with just crackers, turkey, cheese, carrots, and San's grabbing. Some strawberries too. San made this amazing, what is it? Birria beef tacos. So yesterday smoked them, so I'm having a taco for lunch. So this was in my January subscription box that I just sent out. So this is the parenting product of the month. So every month there'll be a product to do with your kids. Ah! And since the theme for January is all about maximizing your time, I thought it'd be fun to do this page a day calendar with your kids so every day is something random and fun so we need to do three days worth because we haven't done it yet you're all ready for the sleigh ride not super thrilled about the snow gear Gwen's still getting used to it We are back. That was so much fun. My feet are frozen, but it was so much fun. I did not know they were gonna have bunnies there for the kids to hold. Gwen did so well. It was an hour long sleigh ride out in the woods. We saw deer. There was this adorable like miniature pony that kept running after us when we go by like the petting area. So cute and the girls had a blast and we went out for hot chocolate at a coffee shop after just hung out and Girls had a cookie, and so we got home around 2.30. Just laid Gwenny down, so I'm gonna work till close to four, it's about three right now. And the girls are having their screen time, which they normally have screen time from two to three, so I normally work from like 12.30 to one to three. Um, and I do my Bible time, so I'm gonna quick do my Bible time right now, and then get some last minute things done, um, and then I'll be done for working for the day, except I also am working tonight, because I'm going live 
on my Facebook group from my box um, at 8 p.m. tonight. So you guys will see that later. Normally I don't work past like three, but Monday nights will be different now. So I just made a super quick, super messy list of things I need to do. I need to post um, my podcast that's going up tomorrow. My episode tomorrow is, um, I need to post it on my website. I need to prepare for my live tonight. I need to um, make an order for my February box. I ordered everything except one shop was closed over the holidays, so I need to order that. And then I need to turn on renewals for my subscription box. I'm going to do all this right now after I do some Bible time. In a perfect world where I'm not balancing a lot, I'd have like a whole hour every day to work on this, but it's just not my life right now with all the hats I wear. So 10 to 15 minutes is what I have. I'm going to read the Bible, but you know, I also am learning about the Bible with my kids, just different. And then I'm going to do a devotional. And then I also, um, will write three things I'm grateful for and then I will sometimes journal if I have time which I probably won't do today and then um, if my girls have like any milestones they hit I just write it in this pink notebook. We did not do our normal snack today because we were at the sleigh ride and we went out for co like uh, not coffee but hot chocolate instead but normally we do our read aloud now during snack and these were both christmas presents so we're um i thought we had writ we actually gave them the ninth book for christmas didn't realize we hadn't read the eighth one either so i ordered that so we're reading the eighth zoe and sassafras bips and roses love these books and then um celia we got her a joke book so we're trying to read like a page of jokes a day um just for fun just they make them laugh so that's normally what we do during snack got some leftover chicken breast and thighs that need to get cooked off before their expiration date so we're just going to bake it in the oven at 375 and we're going to hit it with some of this um meat church holy gospel rub this stuff is really good you can get this on amazon um i recommend buying pre-made rubs saves a lot of time uh, we have a whole drawer full of them like that we like this daniels that's all over tiktok youtube this buffalo ranch seasoning is great too and what else? We really recommend the Hardcore Carnivore line too. Really good seasonings. It's pasta night, so the girls usually have some kind of butter noodles. We serve meatballs and then vegetables and apples. And I improvise. We're having something taco pasta. It was supposed to be taco night. It was supposed to be pasta night. Improvise on a recipe. Looks really good and having a side of corn with it. It's operation cleanup time. Sand cook, so I'm gonna clean up. We all help bust everything over here and then for now, at this stage with the little ones, we just kind of corral them and then I go to town. San also cooked off some chicken while he was cooking that he can use for meals or I can use or we can use for supper. So those are all we're going to have a good amount of leftovers in the fridge. Kitchen is clean, dining room is clean, counters are clean, floors are clean, dishwasher's running. We just, sand will put those away in the morning. He empties the dishwasher in the morning and then puts anything drying away. We don't usually hand dry, just to me, it seems like a waste of time. And then I set the coffee pot so it'll brew at 3.45 tomorrow so I can wake up to some fresh coffee. So it's six o'clock right now. We have about like 45 minutes before we start like pajamas reading that kind of thing and we usually aim to have them like down like we leave the room around between like usually around 7 30 and then they usually sleep by 8 um 
I need to put away this laundry. I, for our, my six year old, I just lay her stuff out on the floor. I will put the stuff on hangers and hang them up. But like all of her folded laundry and stuff, she puts away herself. Our four year old, normally I would lay it out, but since she did not nap or lay down or have any kind of rest time today, let's just say, I'm gonna pick my battles. I'm gonna do that tonight, put Gwen's laundry away. Um, not gonna lie, this is my least favorite part of the day, especially when they haven't had quiet times and naps. Um, it's just a crazy town. I would love to get to a point where we can all like sit down and play a game together, which will be soon. But our one year old is just go, 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 wants to grab everything. Even if we give her cards of her own, she like wants to be part of the game and it just gets too chaotic and stressful. So we're just not there yet. Um, so we usually just hang out in the living room. They're listening to the Yodo right now. I think they're listening to Robin Hood. I'm gonna put that laundry away, hang out for a little bit, and then we'll start our bedtime routines. We're not doing baths tonight. Our girls have really dry skin, and especially in Minnesota in the winters, super dry, so they took a bath last night, so we'll probably do a bath again tomorrow night. Look at what they are doing. Listening to the Yodo way over there. Papa, Papa, what reading I chat books. Too. So, bedtime was kind of a circus. I'm trying to think of a way to say it without swearing. Just kind of a hard night. I laid Gwenny down. Um, normally one of us will lay Gwen down and read to her while the other one is reading to the big girls because Gwen just does not do well with like sitting for big kid picture books yet. She wants to touch everything. She wants to turn the pages constantly. And so we usually read to her separately with board books up in her room. And then we read to the big girls. And then, um, cause then Gwen's laid down and then we'll trade off who lays which girl down every other night. Um, Something I wanted to share with you guys, a little Yodo update. So the Yodo player I shared, we gave it to our girls for Christmas. I've been sharing about it on Instagram. We love it. Um, it's basically, if you're not familiar, it's like a little portable speaker. It's got like a pixelated screen on it. So every chapter of a book or every podcast episode, um, there'll be like a pixelated image, but it's not like a screen per se. Like it's not changing images every few seconds. And you can listen to audiobooks. There's cards that are like hard plastic, like a driver's license or a credit card that you put in. Um, and each one is like a different story, a different podcast, a different radio station, a different book that you can buy from Yodo. But there's also make your own cards that you can do. Anyway, we gave it to our girls early December because I couldn't wait any longer. And it has been wonderful. Our four-year-old especially has been up until that point for a few weeks was having like horrible time falling asleep she was just she's going through this like scared phase where she's just scared of monsters and who even knows she's just scared at night and was taking her hours to fall asleep at night and it was driving us crazy it was driving her crazy like she was scared then she was overtired and it was just this whole thing well we let her have the yodo player in her bed at night and usually she listens to this one card, which is like a radio station for preschoolers. And at night it just plays like really beautiful piano music. So it kind of just lulls her to sleep. But sometimes she'll pick like a story card and it like puts her out almost instantly. And even the nights where it maybe takes a little bit longer, she stays in bed. She's not been scared at all. And if she wakes up in the middle of the night and can't like fall back asleep, she uses that. And it's just been wonderful. Um, I've had people ask if it's a distraction and for our girls it's not they really really love it but I mean every kid is different and then our oldest listens to it during nap time she'll she loves Robin Hood the Robin Hood one she loves the Hotel Flamingo and she's kind of working her way through some other books she will grab headphones and listen to it because she gets really overwhelmed by sound a lot like I do and with two very loud sisters, she'll grab her headphones and plug it in and listen to the Yodo like when she's crafting and stuff. And then we listen to the Yodo daily in the morning. So we love it. I could not sing higher praises about it. Um, and they're always having sales. I just ordered a bunch of cards um, for our oldest for her birthday who's coming up in February. Um, I plan to give them for Easter and birthdays and then I'm also part of their club so I think it's like 10 or 12 dollars I think it's 10 dollars a month and you get two cards a month um, and they have different ones you can pick from and swap out which I love and then if you're part of that club you also get free shipping whenever you order plus 10 percent off so I recommend if you're gonna buy it join the club first to get a discount I think I also have an affiliate code that has a discount um, but there's lots of ways to get a discount I would highly recommend 
waiting till they're on sale or joining the club and getting a discount that way so and then i just have them all in this case so they do have cases for sale but they're usually sold out so i just bought this like trading card like um case on amazon it's been working great the girls have no issues with it you could cut little um triangles in it to grab the cards out of but i haven't had any issues so yeah they just look like this there's all kinds of books and things on their website and they're always adding more. So really, really love. Okay, I'm back down in my office, about to go live soon. First time in my group. Um, I can't remember if I talked about it on this um, vlog, but obviously I have the subscription box, but if you guys are interested, if you don't want the subscription box and you just want the community where you can be held accountable, we have challenges, I go live weekly, so if you have questions, you can ask them there, so I can kind of like coach you in there as well. Um, and we're going through, I'll have printables at times that are free, I'll have free um, the free expert training every month on whatever topic we're talking about. If you are interested in that, it's a much lower price point, obviously, than the whole box. The box has that included in it, basically for free. Um, but if you just want the community, I will have a link below so you can go check that out. And if you sign up right now, you'll have access to all of January. It gets billed on the 5th of every month. And if you order the box, you're paying for the next month. So like if you are subscribed to the box, you'll pay January 5th for the February box but if you are part of the community only you're getting billed on the 5th for that current month so if you paid right now you're getting paid you're paying for January and then February 5th you'll pay for all of February's content and so on and so forth so that's just an idea I know a lot of you guys have reached out wanting help and I'm just at a point now with my business where I just don't have a lot of time to answer emails and all those things as, I, as much as I would love to um, so this is a way you can have access to me but also an access to this amazing community there'll be discounts on there so if there are products that you want to buy and you don't want the whole box you can get discounts you'll have first access to when I have extra products and things like that so that's and there's giveaways so if you're interested um, that's where I'm going live today because I believe I'm probably gonna shut down my free Facebook group or just let it kind of sit there because I just don't have the time to do all of the things until maybe I am able to outsource some things, but I'm just not there yet. So I've said I'm worthless at night, um, but I really have no other time to go live. And most of my audience works during the day or homeschools or has a really busy day. So it's the best time for all of us for me to go live 8, 8, 8 p.m. on Mondays, but that obviously may change over time or I might do different times, different weeks. But Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do now, and then I'm gonna get ready for bed. Just reviewing my life from today went really well. Okay, it's just about nine. I'm gonna wash my face, go to bed, start it all up again at 4 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for coming along on this day with me. I plan to keep these videos coming, so I hope you enjoy them. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.